unpredictability uh, and continued instability is likely to continue to be the trend uh, when looking at the Middle East. So at RUSI we are uh, going to continue looking at ongoing conflicts, in particular Syria, Iraq and Yemen, to see how they develop, but also to highlight what are the uh, unlikely and uh, likely reactions to some of the uh, policy undertaken in particular by the US administration. Um, what the main area will be is also the uh, understanding of uh, the impact of the US administration uh, on policy in the Middle East, on the relationship between Iran and Saudi Arabia in particular, on the proxy war uh, between the two countries, but also on how this will have an impact on ongoing conflict in Syria, Iraq and Yemen. The other issue that we are going to continue looking at closely is uh, the survival of the nuclear deal, the so-called JCPOA. We know that the agreement now is facing high level of uncertainty because of the decision of the Trump administration to decertify the deal. And we know that the fate of the deal now rests uh, very much in the hands of Congress. Uh, we also know that the decision of the decertifying the deal doesn't necessarily mean the end of the deal. Uh, it increases the, the, the uncertainty over the future of the deal. It increases the uncertainty of uh, what the other countries um, part of the agreement will decide to do, in particular the European Union, uh, but that is very much uh, the ongoing conversation at the moment. Uh, we know that Iran at the moment decided to continue implementing the agreement despite the decision by the US administration. Uh, what remains to be seen is whether the guarantees provided uh, by now uh, from uh, the European Union, China and Russia to continue implementing the agreement even if the US decides to withdraw from the JCPOA will then be enough for Iran and the current administration to decide to remain a party of the JCPOA.